Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He was really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. That was a corny horn. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to The Shed Show. I'm your DJ Uncle Bobby, and a special guest with me today is Kimmy! Yay! Woo-hoo. And Baby Marie. Yeah, Baby Zombie. Oh, okay. Baby, baby Zombie is here. Uh, it, she'll be in the background, and you'll understand why I call her Baby Zombie, because even though her grunts are getting less and less, now she's starting to say words. So... Now it's a grunt added with bad, Ugh, bad, Ugh, bad. <laughs> or screaming. Yeah. So um, Joe Seeker is is MIA. So uh, so Kimmy was uh, nice enough to be my uh, co-host, temporary co-host for today. Thank you, Kimmy. You're welcome. Good job. I feel special. <laughs> yeah. We we haven't we haven't had uh, you on the show as a guest in a, in a while. Since actually, it's been a while. yeah, since your since our religious episode we had, that was awesome. I had that clip, by the way. <laughs> Maybe we'll play that at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, I know you've had a clip. <laughs> Do it afterwards. Whoa, baby zombie! <laughs> Brains. That's because you're a religious nut. <laughs> I'm not a religious nut. Just, I believe in certain things. Just like he believes in certain things. So, everybody has their opinions. Uh, either way, we've got a good show for you. Um, I've got some stuff up I found today. Some recent recent news. A brand new top ten list. Um, oh, top ten, top ten. Go ahead. What else you got? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, you can do do a song. Top ten, top ten. It's time to read again. Top ten. <laughs> top ten, top ten, top ten, top ten. Right? Top ten. Oh my God! What is the? What is that? <coughs> uh oh. We've got an ad. She got the ad and shut it down. That better not be Spreaker. Son of a bitch, what is, where is that coming from? I don't know. Smartphone you trade in on America's largest, most reliable 4 LTE network. That's powerful. Verizon, now get a free LTE. Oh my god, Verizon, you shut the fuck up right now. Ruining the show. I said, did I shut up? Yeah, I don't know where you, I don't even know where it was coming from. Do you have YouTube up or something? Huh? Do you have YouTube up? No, I've got the I've got the news, the top ten list, Facebook, and Spreaker. And here it comes again. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill it. All right, hold on. We're gonna find the son of a bitch right now. All right, first. It was the top ten list. Those bastards. Well, it's time to get. There you go. That makes sense. It was on a website that you had. Yeah, man, but you know what? How am I supposed to do a show? I want the fucking story up. It's okay. Just keep on going. It's all right. Well, all right. Well, good advice. Let's do the news. Yes, what is it, break? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Party. The pants. With the pants. Party with pants. Brick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. Years later, a doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and am what some people call mentally retarded. Rick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? Como están, bitches? Spanish language news is here. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. You jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? 
Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Picking up and twigging up my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Rubbing sticks and stones together, make a sparks ignite. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. You guys have it, I think. Huh. A whale's vagina. It's the news. Go ahead, Kimmy. It's the news, 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 right? <laughs> I'm thinking it's a Blue's Clues thing. Uh, <laughs> you know how Blue's Clues? I don't know if you ever watched Blue's Clues, but you know how, like, the male. Yes, unfortunately, I have watched Blue's Clues uh, once or twice. <laughs> okay, but you know the male, like, song? It goes, It's male time. And you know the whole song? Yes. It's the male, it's the male. It's the male. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> that was gold. What? Thank you, that was gold. <laughs> if I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. <laughs> um, yeah. I watched too many cartoons, I guess. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat with you, you know what I mean? We both have kids. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's just something you have to deal with. And that's why uh, I think because we are parents, these these stories are uh, quite interesting. <laughs> Baby zombie, I will kill you. Here, take it. Give it to her. <laughs> I've already given it to her. She's the one I pushed it away. So as being parents, uh, these these stories touch the cockles of our hearts, right? Right, Kimmy? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I watched so many cartoons. I think I do. The, I do like the theme song to Sesame Street and the Blue's Clues show and the Dinosaur Train show. It's sad. <laughs> uh, this story is brought to you by CNN.com and cartoons, apparently, according to Kimmy. <laughs> Teacher brought in a marijuana, a laced, uh, laced. Uh, what does that say? Laced food to after work potluck party, Kimmy. Oh, wow, potluck party. That sounds yeah. interesting. Oh, shit, I actually had the the audio of the story, and I forgot to fucking upload it. Ugh. Well, oh well. well. That's all right, we'll just play it. You know what I mean? Yeah, just keep on rocking. Uh, yeah. Here, well, we, we'll, we'll play it, but we can talk over here. That's the goddamn commercial we were de dealing with, yeah. But, uh... uh the jits of it is, uh, it, it's about to come in, so we can hear it. Hopefully we can hear it over everything, because I'm just going to play it through. Okay. Um, hold on, here it comes. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, replay. Four. Three. Two. Two. <laughs> if this is another commercial, I swear to God, I'm going to strangle somebody. It is. Um. But uh, the, the, you should, wait till you hear what happened to this broad. Uh, the, they're really getting her in some counts here, like uh, like poisoning. They're ca they're considering it poisoning. Poisoning. Mm. Yeah, and it's not like it's kids. Although there was one 15 year old involved. Listen to this. Venetia detectives say the trouble began on November 21st at a party involving several teachers from Matthew Turner Elementary. It was a potluck. After the party, several of the 20 people there began feeling ill. Seriously ill. Seriously the ill. The <laughs> party was rushed to the hospital um, with uh, severe reactions. Um, she was hospitalized. The very next morning, another uh, party goer was taken to the hospital because she continued to feel like she was under the influence of something. She wasn't sure exactly what it was. Hospital blood tests confirmed the presence of THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, and it wasn't just the holiday partygoers who ate the allegedly laced food. One of the attendees took some of the food home, and their 15-year-old juvenile uh, ingested this uh, food and became ill. That's when a police investigation began, and the person who brought the allegedly laced dish so was basically, a 47 -year -old she put manager, marijuana and like chicken. Teacher. In the food, yeah, whatever she was serving. Badger admitted to them that she put pot in the dish. Does she not Badger's get that you can't put all that, and like, marijuana and everything? Don't fit the woman and mother they know. What I'm hearing from you guys is totally out of character. Teresa 
is about is uh, she's kind. She, she's a dedicated teacher. Um, she's someone who. Yeah. She's so kind and dedicated that she like was is retarded and puts her home. Well, yeah, but they're they're they 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 charged her with like uh, counts of like for let me see because it said it, but you were yakking all over it. Sorry. Um, no, just the just the part, just the part. I wanted them to hear the part where uh, they got. what she got charged with. Teresa uh, Gil- Gilmeet Badger, a 47-year-old teacher at Matthew Turner Elementary School in uh, Benicia, was arrested Friday afternoon on suspicion of poisoning after a six-week-long investigation. So they're, they're going to charge her with, with, with poison. And I don't know. Do you think that's right? Uh, I mean, I don't know about... Like, you know, they should be charging her for poisoning because, I mean, people did eat it. But, I mean, she should be smart and not know that pot can go into everything. Well, she, she, I guess, I don't know why you would even do this. Uh, She wanted everybody to chill out, maybe. I don't really. (laughs) Well, that's fine. Make pot brownies. I mean, brownies, you know, you could put pot in, but, like, hamburger or uh, chicken or meatloaf or whatever she cooked. You mean, you know. But the problem with putting in ingredients and not telling anybody, uh, I, I mean, and this goes for anything, let alone drugs. Like, everybody knows I don't I don't necessarily consider marijuana a drug. But you don't know, like, if who's allergic to what. You know what I mean? So, but I don't think everybody, you know, panicked because they're feeling funny about, you know, they were feeling funny. They were, they were high, but some of them probably never been high before. So th- these people were going to the hospital. Going, oh my God, what's wrong with me? You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense though. I mean, if you don't know what's wrong with you, you're going to go try to figure it out. Right, you're, you're feeling all these things you've never felt before, especially, and that is the stronger way to, to, to do it as well. And for someone who's never smoked, that that's going to hit you, man. And I can imagine it is scary not knowing what the hell. Uh, no, that's probably why there, she's getting charged of it because she never told them that she put that ass stuff. But she, then, it's not, like, poison, poison is poison, man. You're not, you didn't poison anybody. I know, but at the same time, they're probably charging her with that because I can't charge her with nothing else. She didn't kill anybody. Yeah, yeah, I guess, you know. They, they have to charge her with something. I mean, what can they charge her with? I mean, they can't charge her with assault because she didn't, like, assault anybody. She can't be charged for murder because she didn't kill nobody, so what else is there to be charged for? I mean, if she thought it was a joke, I mean, no one really knows. I'd love to get her on the show. That man. would be interesting, yeah, to know why she did it. I mean, I get that you know, people to relax, but make brownies. Uh, say these, you know. During their investigation, police said they were told that Badger had allegedly confessed her in- involvement in uh, involvement to individuals who were also in attendance at the party. Uh, so there was other other people involved in this. Mm. Did she, they get charged? Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, she was arrested Friday on on booked into and and booked into uh, Solano C- County Jail in Fairfield. Bail was set at fifteen thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, Badger chose to not speak to the arresting officers, so she's not talking. Okay. I guess what? I mean, she's already charged. She figured, I mean, how, you know, if she talks, she's not going to get any, you what? know, what? any less than a sentence, I guess. I, I feel like they're overdoing it, though. One of the one of the party goers was rushed to the hospital with severe reactions. <laughs> yeah, that was overdoing it. But you know how it is when they post stories yeah. all the time. People overreact and, like, make it more exaggerating so people think it's more uh, overreactions what she can't went home and, and emptied out her fucking fridge <laughs> like what kind of reactions was she rushed to the hospital for like she called up 911 hello <gasps> what's wrong ma'am what, what can we do for you what's that emergency I'm so hungry <laughs> no but I've heard some people that 
they get high, they see things, so. <coughs> yeah, nah, yeah, I don't know. My dad said, uh, it, you know, he used to, I, my, my, uh, my Aunt Peg, my godmother told me that uh, he used to be happy-go-lucky like me. He used to bounce around. He used to get really stoned all the time. But then something happened to him as he got older. He stopped liking it, and it started making him paranoid. He said it makes him poop a lot. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's the thing with, like, this lady's dumb. Don't get me wrong. You don't know what, what other people's reactions are going to be to things. Just because you like something doesn't mean that everybody else... I mean, it's, it, it's, you shouldn't force your beliefs on anybody, and, and that goes for potheads. Uh, you know, you just you just don't do it. You don't go here, man. Just take you like it. <laughs> you know. Right. You know what? Everybody's reactions are different. Right. Some you don't people, know what's gonna happen. You know. Because some people might see things and whatever else. Because I mean, I've seen so many like movies and people talk talk about. It. Sometimes they don't they don't smoke weed no more because they get hallucinations. Yeah, and your body changes as you get older too. You know. That's what happened the first time I ever smoked. I just laughed, laid in bed and laughed until I passed out. <laughs> I didn't. I was just standing at the fridge, looking inside the fridge, trying to figure out what to eat. And I kept just laughing and laughing and laughing at nothing. So there was the story of the teacher that got everyone stoned. <laughs> Class dismissed, uh, Kimmy. <laughs> when we right, come... When we come back, the all-anticipated top ten list. I'm excited about this one. Woo! Trouble, 
A sudden idea comes to me Reading off the list Top ten And now that I am reading this list It occurs to you that I can't read Going back to school soon Top ten Top ten Top ten Top ten Top ten a list full of nonsense Top 10 Although it may be horrible There is still a chance that it's funny Maybe it's wishful thinking We will see Top 10 Top 10 Top 10 Top 10 Reading off the list Top 10 And top, the Top 10 list is brought to you by Top10.net uh, dot which I'm going to stop fucking using because these stupid goddamn ads You can't even turn it the F off it won't let you turn it off Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, dude. There's like six ads actually literally going on this fucking site. And they won't let you turn them off. Alright, oh, got that one. Holy cow, are you kidding me? These ads, man, they won't shut the F up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to because you can't turn them off. They won't let you turn them off. How can I read the friggin' thing? Let me. Let me reset. I'm gonna try resetting it. That's what I'm saying. Resetting it. It's uh, top10s.net. Top ten children rhymes that have hidden meanings, Kimmy. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, like uh, like the one I was telling you, number 10. Uh, we're going to have to blow through these, so. But number 10 was uh, was Georgie Porgy. Remember Georgie Porgy Pumpkin Pie? What else did you yeah. do? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Georgie Porgy put in, put in and pie, kissed the girls, and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. This seemingly child-friendly nursery rhyme, Kimmy, uh, actually has a sexual undertone to it. Oh, my. Georgie Porgy is a, 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 a caricature, whatever that means. Car caricature? Caricature? <laughs> caricature? Whatever. Of George Villers, a bisexual nobleman who lived from 1592 to 1628. Yeah, wow. yeah. So you didn't know that, did you? Nope. Georgie Porgy was bisexual. I think if he's running from the women, if he made the women cry and ran from them, then he would probably be gay, not bi, right? Do you think? But maybe he likes women too. Maybe he likes. Why is he running away from them then? And why is this this goddamn ad better shut the hell up right now? Maybe he's running away from them because they found out that he was he should be an asshole. Like this, this is not fair. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, are you kidding me, dude? With the, now, now, if I really like a certain list on this, that they never. I'm turning it off. I. They never used to do that. Like, I love that list. The top 10s.net I used to use all the time. Okay, well, let me look it up. How about I look it up? Maybe we'll do it on here. And then top 10s.net. Top 10s.net. Uh-huh. Is it 10 as in, like, the letter 10? Or 10s with a Z. Okay. T-E-N-Z dot net. Yeah. 
And it never used to do that. And now I guess because people are using it, they're posting like and and first off, when you have two ads, they have two ads running on the thing, and they're both playing it at the same time. How can I hear the ad if they're talking over each other? <laughs> I think I got it without the drive. No, it, it'll it'll come. Believe me, I promise you, it'll come back. <laughs> well, I got it now. All right. So what's number nine? All right. Number nine is Rockabye Baby. It goes Rockabye Baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby cradle and all. There are many theories explaining the origin of this all-time favorite lullaby, but perhaps the most intriguing is the one that comes from a Native American custom practice hundreds of years ago. Legend has it that a certain pilgrim saw an American Indian mother hanging her baby from a tree. The baby was inside a burrito. She, her mother was inside a burrito? What? Wait, just read it over. I didn't hear it sound like you said she was in a burrito. Or, I guess it's a type of tree. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that came up with, you know, came with the part that says Rockabye Baby on the treetop. And then it says the idea behind this custom is twofold. By suspending her baby from a tree, the Native American mother can work freely knowing that her child is safe from animal predators. The other reason, which is depicted in the rhyme, is that the winds blowing above will lull the baby to sleep. And however, this custom could be potentially fatal for the baby since when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby, and the cradle will fall, and all. So I guess it's saying that even though the mother thought that the baby was safe, it really wasn't. Well, that that was always to me. Uh, me and me and uh, my uh, my ex co-host uh, Renee, who I love and miss very much, uh, we used to do shows together, and we we touched on these nursery rhymes uh, before, um, in a different manner. But uh, basically, we just picked out the ones that we thought were all automatically creepy, and that was like number one. That 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 that's the creepiest goddamn nursery rhyme I ever heard. In my life, just by the words, you don't have to like figure out, you know, need a list for it. But it doesn't this sound creepy? Like rock, it sounds horrible. Rock a bye, baby, and then the baby falls. Like, how can that sue the baby? I, <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I never sing it. I never sing it because it's messed up. <laughs> All right, go on. We gotta blow through. Blow through a couple. Don't read the description. Just, just tell us what it is. The number. Number eight is Ladybird, Ladybird. Uh, this is about uh. They, I don't know that one. Go to number seven. Okay, well, the next one is Ride a Cock Horse. What? <laughs> ride a Cock Horse. All right, read that one. <laughs> it says, Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse with rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. What? Ride does not have a horrible undertone, but rather it just Bites of bizarre act of goodness from an English female historical figure. Uh, okay, so it says that this lady, Godiva, had to ride a horse through the streets of Conventry without any clothes on. Oh <laughs> <So>. my! <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that nursery rhyme on YouTube before. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of the bells was to inform the people that she was coming, giving them time to go inside their homes, close their windows, or face the opposite direction. All right, we're running that out of time dramatically. We have a minute, so just jump to number one. Okay, number one is this thing's going slow. It's very, very quite contrary. What's up with her? What's up with that broad? Oh, uh, uh, well, it's called the Muddy, uh, the Bloody Mary. That's what it Oh, from. shut up. Mary Mary Quaker Cherry's about Bloody Mary? Get out yeah. of here. Who executed the three protested noblemen. Uh, so, and it infers to expanding.
laying in the graveyards of innocent protesters who Mary ordered to be tortured and murdered for not converting into Catholic, uh, Catholicism. Whoa! <laughs> That's you, Kimmy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, that one is interesting. So, that, that, that was the good one. I'm glad we skipped right to number one. So, that was your show. Uh, thank you, Kimmy, for being here. I want to thank everybody for listening. And uh, we'll be back sooner than later, I would imagine. Bye, everybody. I did it. Did what? I just saved thousands on my car insurance. So what? I just listened to Shieldbuilding Radio on Spreaker.com. Huh?